Blockchain is a system that was developed to help a lot of different computers come to a consensus about what's the truth so that people can do things like send financial transactions to each other or manage other kinds of uh, ownership related records without trusting a central authority to actually um, moderate the agreement between everyone. So blockchain is composed of several older technologies that were kind of repurposed in a new way. It first achieved the modern form that we all recognize in 2008 to 2009 when it was developed by the team that went by the name Satoshi Nakamoto when they created it to use for the Bitcoin protocol. Blockchain isn't is a centralized system. So unlike your bank, say, where everyone has to trust the bank to keep the state of the records of everyone's account balance and the bank gets to decide which transactions get through, blockchain is a decentralized system. So no one person has control about which transactions can be processed or what the state of the account balances are. So we'd want to use blockchain anytime that a lot of people have to agree on the state of reality or the state of who owns what, things like this, when they don't want to trust any one of them to be the central arbiter of that information, um, when, especially when groups of people may have conflicting interests and they need to agree on who actually owns what and which steps in a process actually happen. 